It's stealth. You cannot see it. Is that correct? That's correct. Better be correct, right? How do they do in fights with the F-35? said, we do very well. You can't see it. You literally, you can't see it. So no, there's no such thing as an invisible airplane. But what I think and I hope that he was referring to is stealth technology, which can be found on modern aircraft such as the B-2, the F-22, and the F-35. But what is stealth technology and how does it benefit the aircraft? So in this video, I'm going to explain to you the basics of stealth technology and how it works. So most of the time when we refer to stealth technology, what we're actually referring to is the fact that it's low observable. Or in other words, on radar, it shows up as a much smaller aircraft than it actually is. Now, radar is the most commonly used technology in detecting and monitoring aircraft in a given airspace. As Cold War tensions increased, it became more and more important for the US military to find a way to not be detected by radar. And in order to explain the technology that they developed, we first have to understand what radar is. The way that radar works is by shooting radio waves or electromagnetic radiation out from a transmitter. When these radio waves encounter an object, some of those radio waves get hit off of the object and reflect back to a receiver where it can be interpreted as an object. From the reflective radio waves, we can determine the size, shape, and speed of that object. But radar is not only used to detect aircraft, but it's also used in other applications, such as weather, as in Doppler radar, and it's becoming more common to find radar in things such as automobiles, as self-driving technologies vastly improve. But back to our aircraft application, if we're gonna invade an enemy territory, we have to find a way to avoid radar detection. The first and most obvious way to avoid radar detection I bet you anything that you already know the answer, but you may not even recognize that you know the answer. All you have to do is fly under the radar. This now common phrase has roots in World War II bombing campaigns. In order to evade enemy detection by the radar technology that existed at the time, the bombers would literally fly under the radar. The way that this works is when you fly low enough to the ground and you're beyond the horizon, and because of the curvature of the Earth, the radar will not be able to detect your aircraft because you're literally below the radio waves that are being emitted. And thus the phrase flying under the radar was born. But flying too close to the ground brings new challenges to aircraft. For one, you're now in range of enemy anti-aircraft fire. And as radar technologies become more and more commonplace, it's become more difficult to fly underneath the radar if the radar is literally everywhere anyways. And with the wide scale implementation of radar, the likelihood of reaching your target before detection drastically dropped. To address the increasing problem of radar detection, Skunk Works, a division of Lockheed Martin, aimed to develop an aircraft that would not be detectable by radar. The aircraft that came from this goal was the F-117 Nighthawk. So one of the first things that you're gonna notice when looking at this very uniquely designed aircraft is its lack of curvature. They developed this aircraft with as few curved surfaces as possible, instead opting to use flat angled surfaces with the intention of deflecting radar waves in various different directions. When the radio waves would meet this aircraft, instead of being directly returned to the receiver, instead they would hit the straight facet of this aircraft and bounce off into a different direction. The reason for this is because on a curved surface, you're always going to have at least part of that surface reflect those radio waves straight back to the receiver. Now, if you have a flat plate, those radio waves will not be reflected back to the receiver. Because of this aircraft's geometry, on radar, this aircraft looks drastically smaller. Another technique that was developed to avoid radar detection was using something called radar absorbent materials. So instead of reflecting those radio waves back to the receiver where they came from, radar absorbent materials would literally absorb the electromagnetic radiation and transfer that electromagnetic radiation into heat energy. Some radar absorbent materials are still classified, but the F-117 used a radar absorbent material known as iron ball paint. Iron ball paint contains tiny little spheres of ferrite or carbonyl iron. When the radar waves hit the paint, it would oscillate the molecules due to its magnetic field. This would transform that radar energy into heat, 
which then would be dissipated across the aircraft instead of reflected back to the receiver. Other radar absorbent materials include carbon nanotubes and the foam that you might find in the soundproof booth or radar testing chambers. All of these radar avoidance techniques combine to make the F-117 appear drastically smaller on radar. In fact, the F-117 was so small that it was smaller than one-tenth the size of a bird on radar. Or in other words, it showed up as an area of 0.001 meters squared. This size that the object appears to be on radar is known as the radar cross-section. And for reference, these are some radar cross-sections of other objects on radar. But radar is not the only way to detect an aircraft. An aircraft can induce immense amounts of heat, especially due to the jet engines. If left alone, these jet engines can easily be detectable on infrared. So to reduce the heat signature of the aircraft, aircraft such as the F-117, or the more modern example of the B-2, have top-mounted jet engines, literally shielding the view of the jet engines from the ground. And for the same reason of reducing the heat signature of the aircraft, both of these aircraft, the F-117 and the B-2, do not feature afterburners. Another way that these aircraft dissipate the heat generated with the jet engine is with non-circular exhaust pipes. These were designed in a way that would mix the ambient cooler air with the hotter jet exhaust. The next and perhaps more obvious way to detect an enemy aircraft is with the visible light spectrum, or to see it. Duh. To mitigate the risk of an enemy spotting a stealth aircraft, Aircraft such as the B-2 and F-117 were painted black specifically for their night missions. However, more versatile aircraft such as the F-22 and F-35, which can fly both night and day operations, are painted gray. This gray camouflage color is the best case scenario for the most amount of cases. Thanks to drastic advances in computing technologies, it's now easier than ever to design stealth aircraft. With the use of specialized software, defense contractors can now determine what the radar cross-section of an aircraft design is before making a full-scale model of it. These drastic advancements in technology were what led to the F-22 Raptor, the first ever fifth-generation fighter jet. The F-22 really established what it means to be a fifth-generation fighter jet. The first being all aspect stealth technology. Another feature of a fifth generation fighter jet is their internal weapons bays. This is also used to reduce the radar cross section of the aircraft. And if you want to know even more about what defines a fifth generation fighter jet and all the other generations, I made a video specifically about that. Several years after the advent of the F-22 Raptor, the DoD sought to make the Joint Strike Fighter. Naturally, stealth was a requisite for this aircraft. Lockheed Martin once again won the contract for this aircraft with their F-35, making it the single biggest DoD contract win ever. The F-22 and the F-35 are currently the only fighter jets in the US arsenal that feature all aspects stealth. And although the F-117 has been retired, it has been replaced with the even more advanced B-2 Spirit. And exactly how stealthy the B-2 bomber is, is still classified. But I sure hope it was worth it because the Air Force spent a staggering 2.1 billion dollars per aircraft on the B-2 bomber. Stealth technology has been an imperative quality to all modern military aircraft and certainly will continue to be for the foreseeable future. So if you want to continue to learn about the future of aerospace engineering and the science behind it, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to be notified for when my next video comes out. Thank you so much for watching and Godspeed.